Ever wondered about the differences between ARM and x86 processors? These are two distinct architectures found in a plethora of computing devices. Each of these processor types has its own unique set of characteristics and use cases. For instance, ARM processors, with their emphasis on simplicity and efficiency, are commonly found in mobile devices. On the other hand, x86 processors, known for their high performance and compatibility, dominate the desktop and server markets. Intrigued? Let's delve into their detailed differences. At the heart of their differences lie their unique architectures. ARM processors utilize a reduced instruction set computing, or RISC, architecture. This approach emphasizes simplicity and efficiency. It's akin to a minimalist chef, using fewer ingredients but executing each recipe flawlessly. This architecture allows ARM to execute a smaller set of instructions at a faster rate, optimizing for power efficiency and low energy consumption. On the other side of the spectrum, we have x86 processors. These employ a complex instruction set computing, or CS, architecture. If ARM is the minimalist chef, then x86 is the gourmet chef, supporting a larger and more complex set of instructions. This architecture allows x86 processors to handle a wider range of tasks, prioritizing raw power and performance. In essence, ARM and x86 are like yin and yang, each with their own unique strengths and design philosophies. These architectural distinctions dictate their respective strengths and ideal applications. So, where do we commonly find these processors, and how do they perform? Let's start with ARM processors. They are the heart of mobile devices like smartphones, tablets, and wearables. The reason? They are incredibly energy efficient and consume less power, making them the perfect choice for devices where battery life is a top priority. Although ARM chips might not always offer the raw performance of x86 processors, they strike a commendable balance between performance and power efficiency. On the other hand, x86 processors have long held a firm grip on the desktop, laptop, and server markets. These processors provide high performance, compatibility with a broad spectrum of software, and robust ecosystem support. When computational power is a paramount necessity, such as in desktops and servers, x86 processors are typically the go-to choice. Now, you might wonder about the trade-offs between these two. ARM processors, being energy efficient, might not always deliver the same level of performance as their x86 counterparts. But they make up for this by offering longer battery life and enabling a more compact form factor. On the flip side, x86 processors, while offering higher performance, could consume more power and might not be as suitable for devices where energy efficiency is key. In a nutshell, the choice between ARM and x86 often boils down to a balance between performance and power efficiency. Your specific needs in these areas will often determine which processor architecture is the best fit. Performance and power efficiency needs often determine whether an ARM or x86 processor is the best fit. Who makes these processors, and how compatible are they with different software? Let's delve into that. The ARM architecture is licensed to a variety of manufacturers, including tech giants like Qualcomm, Apple, Samsung, and MediaTek. This licensing model leads to a diverse array of ARM-based chips, each with unique performance levels and features. On the flip side, the x86 architecture is primarily associated with Intel and AMD, both of which design and manufacture their own processors. Compatibility with software is another aspect to consider. ARM processors might require software to be specifically tailored for their architecture, although compatibility issues can often be mitigated through emulation and translation layers. Several operating systems, including Android, iOS, and various Linux distributions, are built to support ARM architectures. Meanwhile, x86 processors boast a long history of software compatibility. Most desktop and server operating systems and applications are optimized for the x86 architecture, simplifying software deployment and ensuring a wide range of available software. Software compatibility often plays a crucial role in choosing between ARM and x86. Cost and specialized applications are also important considerations. In terms of cost, ARM-based processors often come with lower upfront costs. This is due to the licensing model and the diversity of manufacturers, making ARM-based devices more accessible, especially in the consumer electronics market. 
On the flip side, x86 processors may be associated with higher upfront costs, particularly for high-performance desktop and server processors. Now, let's talk about specialized applications. ARM processors are a perfect fit for IoT devices, embedded systems, automotive systems, and mobile devices, where power efficiency and compact form factors are critical. On the other hand, x86 processors are the champions in traditional computing environments like desktops, laptops, workstations, and servers, where raw processing power, compatibility, and performance consistency are essential. In conclusion, ARM and x86 processors serve different market segments and have distinct strengths and weaknesses.